Authenticity is key in my brand and I feel like part of my success has been me just being me. And I really want women to understand and men to understand if you are just you and you don't conform to what everybody else is doing in the beauty world, in the business world, whatever it may be, that's really what's gonna make you successful. I think that just speaking your mind and making yourself different than everybody else is really what's going to get you on the map. I was in a commercial that was banned from television and I took that and turned it into something that could really um, be eye-opening for women. And I started a platform, the lingerie line, and I started talking to women about being comfortable in their own skin. And then it led to the TED Talk, and then it led to a cover Sports Illustrated. Do you still have insecurities about your body and your image after all that you've done? Of course I do. I think any woman who says that they don't have insecurities is um, not maybe lying to herself, but she's kind of in denial maybe a little bit. And I think that it's important to remember that Every morning when you wake up, you may not feel your best. You may not feel like um, conquering the day because you feel like, you know, you feel like you're too heavy or you feel like uh, you're not your prettiest. It happens to all of us. And I just have to talk to myself in the morning. You are good enough. You are bold. You are brilliant. You are fit. You are healthy. Describe one or two of the most formative mistakes that you made that other women can learn from. There was a moment in my career, actually right before I started my lingerie line, and I had an old agent telling me, you're not a cover girl. You are only going to be a my money catalog girl, and you're just going to be under the radar. I waited on him to build a career for me me and I waited on him to kind of guide me into success and the moment that I let him just kind of step to the sideline and I took control over my own career is the moment that I started to skyrocket and I could have had it earlier I really believe. How did you learn to not take rejection personally? I have taken a lot of criticism seriously and it really eats at you and the moment you say you know what I'm gonna take everything with a grain of salt and whatever somebody says to me maybe I'll take it in I'll chew on it a little bit, and then we'll see really like, is this person coming from a good place or is this person coming from a jealous or a negative place? I like constructive criticism. I'm always asking my team for it. I feel like it makes you a better um, model or a better employee, a better boss. So I think it's important to take in constructive criticism, but at the end of the day, you are the one who's supposed to know who you are and not let anybody tell you who you are. Does that ever create an extra pressure or a dynamic for you when you're thinking about your career? My mother always told me, you are a role model. I have two younger sisters, and she meant it in the sense that I'm the older sister, so your sisters will be looking up to you no matter what you're saying or doing. So I've always had this big sister kind of role. And I look at all my fans as my little sisters. Every decision that I make in my career, I kind of do it with the purpose and the intention of, I would show this to my sister, or I would want my sister to be proud of this moment. I really want them to know that their appearance, their size, anything that they feel is imperfect about themselves, that's maybe even internal, it cannot stop you. Don't let it stop you. There's so many times where women have let their weight get in the way of love. They've let um, their appearance get in the way of going and getting um, that promotion. Let it go and remember that you get to make your own rules.